is good you it's your boy Sam back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be going over the my team playbook heading into week four of NBA 2k24 my team let's check it out man hope for a not all gambling uh content drop tomorrow if it is all gambling well all I can say is I won't be surprised I mean as sad as it is will definitely not be surprised. So obviously week four, talks about the new domination, featuring a reward galaxy of LeBron with his release on normal time. Meanwhile, the other LeBron galaxy Opa has it on very quick. Okay, Maestro drop. Headlining the latest release in my team, Maestro is an NBA champion and one of the greatest power forwards of all time. 100 overall, Dirk. Velero tomorrow as a special insert in Maestro's packs and boxes, alongside six Galaxy Hope player cards, including cards for my team favorites. Jared Smith, ew. Hakeem, good. Ron, good. Cade, good. Hedo, and Kyrie Irving. So basically, three out of those cards are good. Three out of those cards are not good. Plus, add uh, six more Pink Diamond cards to your collection from either the player market or, player market or pack market. So everything that we have seen recently is still going to continue. So like the the basically pay to win gamble, not even pay to win, gamble to win concept is uh, is back in my team. You have to gamble, you have to literally gamble to get these Galaxy Opal cards. No surprise, nothing new right there. Special inserts, Pink Diamonds are Tubby Walker, Chauncey Billups, Bryant Reeves, Ricky Rubio, Cliff Hagen, and Nikola Vucevic. Look. I don't know what it's going to take. Honestly, I, I don't know what it is going to take to get a change to the way my team is doing things. I don't know what it's going to take at all because the, the whole rent and repeat, pay to win stuff, gamble to win stuff, it's lame, 2K. It's lame and it's getting out of control. You're looking at uh, this. Yes, Ron Artest. Is going to be fantastic. Like, J.R. Smith can't even play point guard. Nobody really wants him. Cade's going to be good. Obviously, Dirk is probably going to be okay. But all of those cards you've got to gamble for. So why am I really hyping him up? It's just sad. Obviously, the rush thing is still the same. Allen Houston, new triple threat online reward. He's going to be fine. But it's like, there's going to be a limit to how good Allen Houston can really be. Honestly, like... Yeah, there's going to be a limit to it. Nice part about this is if you do get 50 triple threat online wins, you do get a seismic 10 base pack box. Never mind. It's a base pack. Forget that. It's a base pack. You don't even get anything else outside of a base pack. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know, man. I don't know. And I'm not trying to sit here and hate on Allen Houston because he's probably going to be a fine shooting guard in my team. But there's a limit to how good he can be. Tuesday, new rush agendas. Thursday, a new playbook. Friday, single player. Clutch time rewards update with a new Galaxy o player card. I mean, has, has anything changed in the past couple of weeks? We see rush. We see gamble on Friday. Like, Tuesday drops are really the new Fridays. And that's us as a community, what we have to know and what we have to realize. Because this whole, this whole, oh, well, eventually 2K might change and eventually they might give us the cards they want. They're not. Maybe it'll last through the entire season, but I think eventually this is going to have to change. Otherwise, run your James Harden's. Run your, you know, pink diamond Kobe still to this day. Run every free card you've got. Save, stock up your MT because this stuff is not stuff we as a community can support. And I mean, I get it. A lot of people are like, Ty, I've grinded a bunch of MT. Look, I've got 1.8 billion on my main account. On my no money spent, I've got 500K. Am I going to spend MT on this? No, no, that's your answer. No, because it's gambling. It's all gambling. And I, look, I have no problem if I'm gambling with decent odds or gambling, you know, personally me, because I'm old enough and I know what's going on, but gambling for something that's okay. These odds are horrible, number one. You have to buy all these pink diamonds to get a random Galaxy Opal, which you could get Galaxy Opal Hidu Turklo, who probably is going to have that same bum release come tomorrow. Like, I would love to get Akeem, Ron Artest, and Cade and add them to the squad. But the realistic side of things is you could spend $100 and not get any of them. And for Dirk, you're going to have to spend way more than that. And so, I mean, for me, am I, again, another Friday of upset? Sure. But Dirk, I don't care. Dirk, I don't want. It's the Galaxy Opals like Ron Artest. It's the Galaxy Opals like Cade Cuttingham. Why can I not buy those guys? Make them 300K in the player market at this stage. I do not care, but let me buy them. Let them be somewhat accessible. 
You're pushing away everybody every single Friday of, oh, a new content drop. And it's lame. It's lame. Even this triple threat thing. This is what I'm more excited about than anything else is getting and adding Allen Houston to the squad. And that should not be the case. I should not be more excited to add Allen Houston to my squad than to, 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 to just, you know, add for a new Friday. Like, I should be excited about the Friday drop. And I'm just not. I'm not. And I never will be, especially when 2K continues to just kind of ruin their own game it's sad man it really is sad and uh and i don't know what is gonna change it maybe season six will change it but look we've got 21 days left of this dog water season and so i guess for now we just gotta try to make the most of it all i can say is none of these guys are really game breaking good like Cade's gonna be fantastic ron our test is gonna be fantastic but i'm telling you guys like harden can go out there and compete with Cade. guys like pink diamond paul george can go out there and compete with guys like ron our test i'm just telling you you do not need any of these new cards that's what 2k wants you to think that you, that you need them and that you want you're gonna have to go and gamble for them you don't just have fun playing the game right now i literally look I could add, I could have a squad of no gambling cards. Like right now I have Brown, I have Giannis, but I could remove them from my squad and I could win 40 games in a row. You do not need the best cards in the game to win. You don't. And especially when they're hidden behind gambling, it's just not even worth your time to, to think about. Now, yeah, Pink Diamonds, last week we saw Franz Wagner who was good. This week, there's nobody. I'm going to be honest. There's nobody that we are going to see as a Pink Diamond that is going to be worth your time or worth your MT. It's sad, but that's just the truth with where we're at right now. So for me, look, if I'm you guys and just starting the game, grind domination. Shane Goon, really solid. You get some other solid guys. If obviously, if you have like the best team in the game, just keep saving your MT. Because again, if you spend it every single week on the new content, you're just, you're going down a, a, a trend that you really, you're, you're going to drown it, honestly. Because you cannot keep up every single week with the content by just strictly grinding the game with MT. You can't. You're going to have to pay money and gamble on those cards. And again, the problem I have with it is, okay, if I spend $100, I'll probably get one Galaxy Opal, at least. But the problem I have with it is, I don't want half of those Galaxy Opals. I don't really want J.R. Smith. I don't want Hedo, and I don't want Kyrie Irving. So I have a 50% chance out of that of getting the guy I want. That rubs me the wrong way too. So I don't know. I mean, again, another Friday in which no gameplays are going to be on my accounts unless I get one of them for a out of a free pack, anything like that. But it's just that kind of way. I mean, I cannot spend money on this game. And I, I'll tell you guys, the last time I spent money on this game, I'll look it up right now in the PlayStation Store because it's it's you guys need to do the same thing. And yes, I am pocket watching you because at the same at that some time we have to come together as a community. So my transaction history: the last time I have uh, made a transaction on 2K was uh, let's see, uh, last time February 16th was the last time I bought uh, bought VC on this. Um, and, and it's been a month and nothing's going to change. I'm not buying any more VC for this dog water game. I'm not. So 2K, you might be getting more money out of a lot of people, but out of me, you have not gotten money in the past month and you're not, and that's how it's going to continue. Like, yes, I spent it on the all-star drop, but I thought that would just be a one-time thing, but no, we're seeing it consistently and it's not something I'm personally going to support. Now, again, do what you want to do, have fun with the game, but I strongly suggest that you avoid this content tomorrow. If you want to interact with the content, for the uh for the triple third online Allen Houston that's what I would recommend because this if you get if you interact with this man you're going down the wrong way when it comes down to 2k there's two ways the good way and the in the in the in, in the in the dangerous way okay and don't go down the dangerous way because otherwise again it is a very dangerous and slippery slope it's gonna wrap it up let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and as always man I love you guys have a blessed day